When it comes to great rivalries, Byron, I know you have Brock Lesnar versus John Cena high on your list. Oh, absolutely, Michael. And for me, it's hard to top their battle at Extreme Rules 2012. Just the overall intensity during that match was off the charts as Cena took a beating but eked out a close victory against the Beast Incarnate. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Well, as Byron mentioned, Cena did indeed defeat Lesnar in Brock's first match back in WWE after eight years away. But Lesnar got his revenge. And then some at SummerSlam two years later. Oh, yeah, it was on that night that we truly were introduced to Suplex City as Brock... Big move coming! Wait for it! Is he done? He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. In addition to owning one of the most impressive championship resumes, Byron, we should also mention that Brock Lesnar has a Royal Rumble match to his credit. You're absolutely right, Michael. In 2003, Lesnar last eliminated The Undertaker to forever etch his name in history as a Royal Rumble match victor. More on Brock Lesnar's dominant 2003. Not only did he win the Royal Rumble that year, but Corey, he went on to capture the WWE Championship twice as well. Yeah, he held the championship for more than 270 days. If that's not an impressive year, I don't know what is. John Cena starting to show signs of fatigue. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back nice. quite a bit. John Cena's WWE career began in 2002, and his first victory was over Y2J Chris Jericho. Cena back then was filled with ruthless aggression. Elbow drop! Big time! During the beginning of John Cena's career, the rookie was among the legends of the ring. Cena became U.S. champion and defeated my former broadcast colleague JBL at WrestleMania 21 for his first WWE title. We really don't have enough time in this broadcast to talk about all John Cena's remarkable career accomplishments. The man has WrestleMania victories over the likes of The Big Show, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and that's just the beginning. Ooh, what impact! So close. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. With the tag is Brock Lesnar. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Oh, high impact! Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. 
headed into this match. He and his partner look extremely oh. confident. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. I wonder if John Cena knew his career would change forever when he put on a rapper costume for SmackDown's oh, Halloween party in 2002. But he showed he can spit rhymes and it worked to get the attention of his opponents. So the doctor of thugonomics was born. Byron brought up Cena's study of thugonomics. Even though he had early success showing ruthless aggression, Cena had hit a rough patch and was in real danger of getting lost in the fold before he discovered his affinity for rap. In the years that followed, Cena very effectively used his impressive rhymes to rile up enemies, ascend to the main event, and win championships. here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Lars Sullivan's looking beautiful technique. No doubt about that one. Lars Sullivan with the early cover. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Not yet. He's got him here. He's got him ring rattling. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here he goes. We. That could be a game changer. Going for broke. Big slam. I can't believe it, Michael. This may very well be it. And that's it. This one is over. It's a game as you can see here. Here are your winners. John Cena and the great Car Lee. Big win here in tag team action tonight. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the blue cap. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys.